Good morning. Myself Amrita Mansarekar and today we are going to study concept of time complexity. Algorithm can be evaluated based on their performance and performance can be calculated based on space and time required by an algorithm. With the help of time and space complexity, we can compare the performance of two different algorithms used for solving same problem. Time complexity is nothing but total number of time taken by an algorithm to run to its completion. Time complexity have two components. One is a compiled time and another is a run time. Compiled time never dependent on the input or output being supplied. As we all know that once program is compiled, it can be run several times. Hence, we can say that compile time is a constant time. Run time always depends upon the input and output. That means it always depends upon problem instant. Time complexity is calculated as compile time plus run time, where compile time is a constant. Say P is algorithm, then total time complexity is given as T of P is equal to C plus TP, where T of P is a time complexity of program P, C is a compiled time which is constant and TP is a run time. Now let us check how to calculate time complexity. One of the easiest method to calculate time complexity is count number of steps each statement in a program execute. What is a program step? Program step is loosely defined as syntactically or semantically meaningful segment of a program. Usually it is considered the program step requires one unit of execution time. Note that all the statements in the program may not have execution all the time. Hence, first we need to identify executable statement in a program. After identifying executable statements, count the number of steps per state. For example, comments are not executed at, at all. Assignment step statement only one step. Assignment statement takes only one step to assign a value. If it is a condition statement, it is executed n plus 1 times, where n steps are executed for condition, true condition and last one is executed for a false condition. Now let us see one example of an sum of all elements in an array. Now in this algorithm, First two lines are not executable. The third line s is equal to 0 is executable. Also the for loop is executable and last two lines are also executable statement. Now first line is an assignment statement and it is executed only once. While for loop is a condition statement. When condition is a true, it executed n times and last iteration is for checking the false condition. S is equal to S plus I is inside for loop and it is executed n times when condition is true. Last statement is a return statement and it is executed only one time. Hence, total number of steps in this algorithm are 2n plus 3. Let us check one more example of matrix addition or addition of two matrices. Here also first two statements are not executable while next three statements that which are consist of two for loop and one assignment statement all three statements are executable. The first for loop is executed m plus n times. For second for loop, which is inside the first for loop, it is executed n plus 1 into m times, while the assignment statement is executed m into n times. Hence, total 
time required or total number of steps in this algorithm are 2mn plus 2m plus 1. Now this one example is for your homework that is calculate time complexity of matrix multiplication algorithm. To, in this session we discuss the concept of time complexity and its example. Thank you.